Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how do you go about turning off the screen display on a laptop while the computer is still running. So let's say you want to download something fairly large from the internet, but you don't want your computer to go into sleep mode. But you also don't want to leave the monitor on, so you want to conserve power. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys save power from not having to display the monitor. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So it's fairly easy on a desktop just to turn off the monitor, but on a laptop it's a little bit more complicated. So we're going to go over that in today's tutorial. And we are going to start by opening up the start menu, type in control panel, best match to go back with control panel. Let's go ahead and left click on that. Set your view by to large icons and then select power options. Select change when the computer sleeps. So if you're using a laptop, you'll have multiple rows and columns here likely. You want to select underneath put the computer to sleep. You want to make sure this is set to never. And you want to do the same thing for battery as well as plugged in. So again, just put the computer to sleep. Set that to never. So just make sure put computer to sleep is set to never and then select save changes. And it might say choose what closing the lid does or choose what the power button does. So depending on your wording here, you want to select it. And when it says when I close the lid, you want to set do nothing. So I'm on a desktop here, but if you're on a laptop, select do nothing. And once you're done with that, close it here. Open up the start menu, type in screensaver. Should say change screensaver. Go ahead and left click on that. You want to make sure your screensaver is set to none. And then select apply and OK, just in the event that it was already turned on. And then once you're done with that, that should be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.